Yes, yes. If you've had an involvement with Ben, tell the folks what you think may have been the last baseball that Ben ever signed, and he signed it for you. Yes, um, I I was you know honored to be able to to give, be given the position of the movie at lead consultant. So Ted Green did me wonders by making me the lead consultant. I got to invite Vin to the movie. I got to invite Jerry Reinsdorf. I got to use so many photos of my collection for the movie. I, I had an idea. I was going to get a baseball signed by Jimmy Erskine, Carl Erskine, Betty Erskine, Vin Scully, Branch Rickey, Charlie Steiner, and Bob Costas. Those were the big, the big, the big names of the, that's videoed in the documentary. So I got the Erskins and I call, I, I wrote Vin, I wrote Vin. I didn't call him. I could have called him, but I wrote him first. He called me, said he would be pleased to do it. So I said, when I get the ball signed, I'll, I'll get it sent out to you. Well, I, I got it signed. It took me a while to get it signed. Carl was pretty busy. So I called Vin, left him a message. This was in June. In, and I didn't get nothing back. And then you posted on your sports page that he had been sick. I'm, I'm sure you remember that. You were giving us updates on his health and he was getting better. Well, the next day after I saw that, I get a phone call from Vin. It had been three weeks since I had left him a message. My daughter got the phone call. She comes running, daddy, daddy, Vin Scully's calling, Vin Scully's calling. I'm in the shower. So I didn't get it answered in time but I've always wanted a Vin Scully voicemail. I've never not answered his phone call when he called, just in case I never could get back with him. This time I got a voicemail. Well, I had immediately called him back before I could even knew I had a voicemail from him. And we talked and he's, you know, he says, I've been, I haven't been hundred percent lately. I'm, I apologize. Just so, so apologetic. This, just such such a nice man it's just unbelievable how nice he is and to hear his voice on the other line of my phone i i had goosebumps the whole time he, now he tells me don't act that way you know we're, we're friends that's how he's that's how he was always said that oh no 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 you know he didn't want me to be starstruck it's you're my friend any car any friend of car erskins is a friend of mine he always said so i said vin i'll get them balls sent out today well then i hang up and then i check the voicemail and the voicemail talks about how ill he's been, uh, how he's not been at quite 100%. It was just a beautiful, beautiful voicemail on July the 6th. Okay. So the balls go out. It's getting, it's been about three weeks. So I get a hold of Mrs. Lynn Porter. Oh, you know, I know her. You know her. <laughs> 61 years of marriage. <laughs> and she, she, I told her about it, sent her pictures of it, of the baseball. And she started getting a hold of the Scully family. Mm -hmm. And it took about a week, maybe, maybe not even that. And she got a hold of, of I think, Carolyn. Catherine. Catherine, I'm sorry. And Aaron. Yes. And Aaron left me a voicemail on Friday. Says, we got the balls signed. Now, I sent two balls. I sent one for him to sign of, of the Erskins, for the Erskins. And I said, Vin, I've never had a baby. This is on a letter. I've never had, a, I don't have any Vince Gully baseballs. I've got you another baseball here. If it's something you would like to do, could you please sign this? If not, you can keep the baseball. So when her voicemail, she only mentioned one baseball. So I had no clue that two was going to be coming. And wow. two baseballs came. Oh, yeah. Both of them signed by Vin. Now, both of them were with a marker, which is not usually how he signs baseballs. Right. So I knew, he, I knew Vin had been weak. You could tell because he used a Sharpie. That's not him. He don't do that. No. So Monday they show up at my house and I told everybody, I could not believe it. The next day I get the news the next evening from your wife about it. And he passed the away. Next day after the baseball showed up. Hi, Jimmy. It's Vin Scully. My uh, health has not been too good. Kind of locked me for a loop. But I think uh, next week, if you want to give me a try, I'll be more than happy to talk about whatever you want. Thank you, Jimmy, for your patience. I hope for your understanding. 
again, not feeling close to 100%. Thank you.